What's up guys? Welcome to today's PCOS friendly tricep day. It's going to be awesome. Let's go for some taps from side to side. So we're getting that heart rate up. We are at peace today, okay, with ourselves, with our mind, with our physical beautiful body, all right? And we are remembering that fitness is a place of love. It's not a place of hatred. It's not a place of, you know, anger. It's not a place of punishment. We are working out today because we love our bodies, because we want to improve our health. We want to build muscle. Literally, I've seen this over and over with so many women I work with PCOS, including myself. Once you're really building functional strength in your body, functional strength training, it is the best friend when it comes to PCOS. And that is exactly what we're doing here today. It's going to be awesome. Let's get those tricep muscles. All right, guys. So we're going straight into it. So. What I want to happen here is grab onto a nice heavy, heavy weight, heavy weight. We are challenging ourselves, all right? I'm holding a six kilo weight, you do you. All right, I have a look at how I'm interlacing my fingers from the back. So you see how the weight looks from the back? I am literally holding onto it at the bottom. Not in the middle like this, not here. I want interlaced, okay, just like that. Now that we have our fingers in position, we are going to go for 10 reps. Three, two, one, here we go. Lift the weight to the sky, bring it back down. That's 10, nine, awesome, eight, beautiful job. Down, seven, exhales every time you bring the weight up. Six, gorgeous, five, try to, try to have your elbows as close as possible to your ears here, four, beautiful. Last three, beautiful job guys two and one but one more Ugh, put that weight down oh my god this is about to get very mean guys <laughs> let me tell you that all right so the tricep muscles is the back of your arm okay the back of the upper arm and we are definitely going to be targeting that muscle over and over today okay like i said the more we are focusing on big muscle groups on getting for example that upper body we're really really targeting here today the more you are just doing so much beautiful work for your PCOS, okay? So we really want to make sure that we're targeting those muscles, all right? So today those triceps are certainly in big trouble, all right? 30 second break complete, ready for set number two. Let's go. Picking up that weight once again. Interlace the fingers, just like we spoke about. All right, I'm gonna do this next set from the back. Three, two, one, interlace those fingers, go. One, back down, good, two, and back down, all right? So you see what's going on here. Three, I'm bringing the weight up by bending my elbows and straightening my elbows. Four, perfect, my back is as straight as can be, all right, I'm not curving it. Five, so close, going for six. Whoa, six, oh my God, <laughs> my arms are drying. And seven, so close guys, so close, get there. Going for eight. Whoa. Nine, mm. last but not least, <laughs> that was a struggle. Oh my God, shake out those arms, all right? So we have 30 second break in between each set. That is the style of this PCOS series. Please do not be confused. This is not the only way you are allowed to work out when it comes to PCOS. All forms of strength training is beautiful. You're allowed to do cardio as well. I don't recommend though when it comes to PCOS, having that mindset that I know we all used to have, which is just just running for hours, doing as much cardio and jumping as we can for hours. That is not what this life is about, okay? This lifestyle that we are building for ourselves is understanding functional strength training and how we incorporate that into our lives, all right? So really take these 30 seconds to focus on that. Ready for set number three. I am terrified. I am actually terrified. Once again, going for 10. Interlace those fingers. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, back down. Gorgeous. Two, back down. Here we go. Fully focused. Three, gorgeous. Four, exhales. You bring the weight up. It's going to help you. Five, inhales. You bring it down. Oh. <laughs> Six, I am struggling guys, I am struggling. And seven, <laughs> so close, three more. Here we go, three, two, last one. Come on, come on, come on, you got this. One, ha, 
Oh my God. One more set of that and you have completed the tricep lift for today. Guys, remember, strength training is supposed to be a challenge. It is supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be tough. It's a good thing if your muscles are feeling extreme fatigue or feeling even fit muscle failure at the end of the set. That's a beautiful thing. It is not a beautiful thing if you're feeling it in your joints. So you should not be feeling this move in your wrist, in your elbow joint, in your lower back, your neck, knees, ankles, etc. Your joints are not supposed to ever be hurting you throughout a workout, okay? Your muscles are supposed to be hurting you. So it's a beautiful thing if you're feeling it here. Not here, okay? If you're feeling it in your actual elbow joint, that means that it might be time to lower the weight. Ready for this, here we go. The last set of this move. Interlace the fingers, interlace the fingers. Three, two, one, brace the core, go. One, back down, two, Beautiful job, here we go. Ah, we're staying focused. Three, almost there. Use both of those arms. Four, ah, you know it's not good if you're at number five and your arms are already wanting to give up. We can do this, here we go. Six, gosh. Seven, almost there. Eight, I'm like cracking, my voice is cracking. Nine, and <laughs> that was so hard. Oh, my arms. Shake them out for these next 30 seconds. Get that blood flowing back in them. Shake them out. Shake them out. Breathe. You are doing so phenomenal. So beautiful. I am so proud of us. And it is now time for our next move. So, we are going to be moving that weight over to the side. And we're going to be heading on over to the floor. Now, I recommend you feel good about where you're laying down. So if you feel like you're on a mat that doesn't have enough cushion, maybe it's time to get a mat with a little bit more cushion, or you know, you could also just double layer, you could also put the mat down twice, but what am I talking about here? Why is this important? For this next move, you're gonna have your fingers facing your butt, all right? Palms facing outward. All right, this next move is going to be hard after all those tricep lifts, but what's gonna happen here is like this. You're gonna bend your elbows, and then you're gonna straighten them, okay? Just like that. Now that's the modified version. You could do whatever you want with it, you know, in terms of which level here. All right, advanced version is the same thing, but your butt is off the floor. You're gonna bend your elbows, straighten. So it's not this, it is not this. All right, your butt stays put. It's just your elbows bend and straighten, okay? So here we go. We're gonna go for 10 reps. I'm gonna go for the advanced version, but you're gonna do you, whatever you feel is right. All right, three, two, one, here we go. 10, push. Nine, it's like you're pushing your palms into the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Break. All right, 30 second breather here. I am so proud of us. This is tough, this is hard. Take this time in these 30 seconds to breathe, shake out those arms, and remind yourself, mindset. I am doing this because I am grateful for my body. It does so much for me, okay? It is the reason I can wake up in the morning, it's the reason I can walk around, it's the reason I can hug my loved ones. It is so much more than just the way it looks. It's so much more than just this PCOS symptoms. Be aware of your body. Think about why you're grateful for it. Here we go, set number two. All right, so remind you guys, beginners looks like this. All right, you're bending the elbow, straightening with the butt on the floor. Advance with me, three, two, one. Here we go, 10 reps. 10, push off the ground. Nine, push off the ground. Eight, push. Seven, push. Okay, so you're pushing your palms into the floor. Five, bend your elbows, straighten your elbows. Bend your elbows, straighten. Good, three left. Three, two, one. Ha <laughs> ha! Two more sets of those guys. You are doing so beautifully well. Inhales, exhales, it's so easy to tell ourselves that you know the only way to work out is to do jumps, 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 jumps for hours. That's the only way you know to burn calories, the only way to get yourself to a place where you're taking care of your PCOS symptoms incorrect okay i can't say this enough i've seen this over and over with so many of my pcos ladies please 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 make sure you are giving yourself that functional strength training which is exactly what you are doing here all right ready in three going for set number three two 
and one, begin. Here we go. Down, push off the floor with your palms. Two, all right, my butt is doing nothing. It's literally dead weight just falling down to the floor and my arms are the ones helping with the pushing off the ground. Good. Five, six, four, seven, eight, so close. Nine, you can do this. Ten. Ah, here we go. The last set coming right up. I am so proud of us. This is hard. This is difficult, but we are capable. We are so strong. We are capable of so much. Believe in yourself. Believe that you are doing what you know is good for you. So we're breathing in, breathing out. Excellent. All right. We can do this. We are believing in our body. All right. Three, two, one. Fingers facing your butt and begin. Let's go. One, two, going for 10. Three, finishing this move, guys. Four, you can also go for slower if you want even more time and attention. Five, six, even more of a challenge to go slower. <laughs> Eight, nine, 10. That was my evil laugh right there. <laughs> We're doing so great. I am so proud of us. Shake it out. You have completed the tricep dip. So we're still staying for another 30 seconds here of just breathing. Inhales and exhales, amazing. All right, so if by the way, I know this is a very wristy workout, I like to call it. So if your wrists are starting to bother you here, keep in mind, like I said, using a double layer of cushion or using, you, know, you could even fold over your mat twice. All right, that could help with giving you more cushion for your wrist. Or you could you literally use a pillow or a blanket, whatever it is. And in addition to that, there's also wristbands that you can buy in Target or Super Farm, wherever it is, that are you know cheap and easy to buy that could also be really great support for the wrist. Um, uh, but we'll you can DM me about that or whatever. Okay, ready for this, here we go. So hands on the ground. We are now going to go for some tricep push-ups. I am so scared. All right, so ready for this, guys? You're in this position. Your knees could either be on the floor or off the floor, all right? I personally am choosing to have my knees on the floor for this movement. So one, two, three, you're going, this is a modified version. You're going to bend your elbows. You're going to lay down on the floor and one, two, three, push off the ground using your tricep and chest muscles. One, two, three, bring yourself back down. So that's one, push off the ground. That's two, lay down onto the floor. One, two, three, three. Excellent. And bring yourself down slowly. Four, all right, so notice how my whole core is straight here five so close down six really brace your core for this and down seven get to ten so close guys eight push nine and last but not least <laughs> Yo! We're breathing, we're breathing, we're inhaling, we're exhaling. Like I said, if you feel like this is too much on the wrist, you can fold your mat over twice. But this is the place where you're really targeting those tricep muscles. I'm so proud of us getting that whole upper body. The chest is helping, the upper back. This is exactly what we want for our PCOS, targeting those big, big, giant muscle groups. Ready, all right, 30 seconds are about to be up. We are going to head into the next set. And guys, after this move, you are done with your workout for today. Here we go. We're focused. We are bringing in the correct mindset. Three, two, one. Bring yourself down to the floor and go. Here we go. Push, one, laying down on the floor. Two, try not to curve your back. If you feel like your back is curving, a modification is to just bring your knees closer and not lay down on the floor at all, okay? This is the modified version of what I'm doing, all right? It's basically just bringing your knees closer to you, all right? So you do you. If you can lay on the floor for this, great. If you can't, that's also okay. And excellent. Five, six, you have to use that core. Seven, PCOS workouts are not about just doing hours of crunches all right nine and ten. <laughs> holy moly ah all right breathe two more sets of that okay guys that's it the life of just doing you know crunches for hours running for hours 
jumping, kickboxing, cardio for hours, cycling classes for hours, just to get yourself, you know, to a place where you're so beat red hot, sweating like crazy. That is not something that is necessary. <laughs> what is necessary, in fact, it could actually be unhelpful, okay, when it comes to trying to get your PCOS to a beautiful place. We're trying to relax the body. We're trying to even out those cortisol levels, okay? And when you work out in such a stressful way with jumping up and down for hours, it's literally raising your cortisol levels. So this is what we're looking for, building muscle in a calming way, all right? Here we go, guys. Second to last movement. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and push. One, two, keep your whole core as straight, as tight as possible. Three, trying not to bend the back. Four, knees are staying on the floor. Five, almost there. Six, try not to let your back curve, your chest shouldn't be coming off the floor and then the rest of your body, okay? It should be everything together. A straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Excellent. Last one. Ta! Wow, 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 wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We are literally helping ourselves in a billion ways right here, right now, guys. This is it. Your last set of your entire tricep upper body workout. This is tough stuff, but you are a tough girl, okay? You are a tough woman, and this is amazing. This is just such a beautiful way that we are challenging ourselves. It's not a punishment. It is not a punishment. We are removing that mindset. It is literally your way of saying thank you to your body, your literal way of saying, I am one with you, body. I am working together with you, okay? We are in this together to help our PCOS symptoms. Let's go. Three, two, the last one. One, begin. And down and up. That's one. Down, two. Notice how there's a straight line from my shoulders to my knees the whole time. Three. Good. Four. Ha! Trying not to curve the back. Five. So close. Five left, guys. Five. Oh my gosh. Last four. Four. Perfect. Three left. Here we go. Three. Two more now. Two. And last but not least. Oh my gosh, that was so difficult in the best way. Let's go, sitting down, breathe, breathe, take your time. Inhales, exhales, we're gonna start with some stretches for that body. I am so proud of us, that was tough, that was hard, but my God, be strong. <laughs> one, two, three, your hands are gonna be on your ankles over here. One, two, three, lean forward, get a nice stretch for the inner thighs. And just take this moment to relax, to cool down the body and say, I'm awesome. I did this for myself. I worked hard. I pushed myself. And building muscle is the best possible thing I could be doing for myself when it comes to PCOS and fitness. It's literally medicine for the body, okay? And that is what you gave yourself today. I am so proud of you. Three, two, one, bringing that body up. Excellent, let's go for some tricep stretches. So you're gonna bring that arm in. And I want you to pull, 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 pull that hand towards you, okay? It's directly on the elbow joint. And breathe, okay? So that's what fitness is about when it comes to PCOS. Like I said, this is not the only way that you're allowed to work out when it comes to fitness, when it comes to PCOS. Absolutely not. There are so many, so many different things that you could do. The main thing I want you to gain from this PCOS series is understanding that strength training is something you must include in your workout regimen, okay? We don't want to just be doing cardio. We don't want to just be jumping up and down. It's just not fair to yourself. You're literally just, you're, you're, you have so much more potential when it comes to fitness. And I feel like a lot of times we have this mindset where people, you know, we've been taught that just, you know, women are just supposed to do cardio and that's what's going to help them when it comes to PCOS. It is so false. I've seen it with my own eyes. Please include strength training in your life, okay? Whether it's with these workouts, the PCOS series workouts, whether it's with the regular lifestyle workouts, you are doing so much good by including strength training in your workout. 
You're not, not allowed to do cardio. Keep that in mind, okay? You're allowed to do cardio, but keep in mind you're not looking to do hours of it anymore. You're not looking to replace strength training with it. All right, so please, please, please be aware of that. Your cortisol levels are something we are trying to keep down, okay? We wanna really improve that insulin resistance in the body. And that is what we are working on and improving with every single one of these workouts. I am so proud of you guys. All right, one more stretch for those triceps. Let's bring those arms up. You're gonna pull your elbow back. Deep inhale, deep exhale. You are doing so great. All right, I, perf I really, really selected the workouts for, these, for this series to really help you with building the muscle in the big muscle groups, okay? That's what we really wanna be challenging. That's why I keep talking about in the series to use a heavy, heavy, heavy set of weights. We really want to be challenging the muscles as much as possible. Believe in yourself. Three, two, and one. Amazing, bring those hands up. Deep inhale and exhale, beautiful. One more big, 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 big one. Bring those hands up, repeat after me. I am amazing. Your turn, I'm amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.